Tesla Semi Spacious Cabin is highlighted in side-by-side -side picture with diesel truck. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for everything about Tesla and also like this video to show your appreciation of all the people who helped me to bring these stories to you. A recently shared photo of the Tesla Semi beside a couple of conventional vehicle delivery trucks was shared by Tesla's automotive president Jerome Guillen on LinkedIn. Tesla's long hauler definitely looks like it came from the future thanks to its unique design, cavernous cabin and central driving position. Even though the Tesla Semi has been spotted in multiple locations over the years, it has rarely been photographed alongside more traditional long haul trucks. This made it a bit challenging to see just how physically different the Tesla Semi was compared to its competitors. They said that is at least until Jerome Guyen's recent LinkedIn post, which depicted the semi alongside the very vehicles it is intended to replace. Guyen posted the semi's image with a caption saying, quick recipe, uh, recipe after strong quarter two deliveries. The space alien did come to rescue the dinosaurs. The automotive president didn't specify what his caption was about, although he seemed to be referring to the semi and its more conventional peers, as well as the role that the all-electric uh, truck played in Tesla's recent end of quarter push. If you remember, Tesla Semi was listed to help to deliver more trucks. That was a very good uh, indication, as I said in my previous videos early this week, that Tesla is probably doing a lot of truck uh, 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 car deliveries that it needed extra trucks and enlisted the Semi, which was also a good test showing that the Tesla Semi is functional and the functionality is working well. A look at the recently shared image highlights the Tesla Semi's large and spacious cabin especially compared to the two traditional delivery trucks beside it. The semi's wraparound windshield, apart from giving drivers a commanding view of the road and excellent visibility, gives the all-electric truck a notably futuristic look. The semi's central driving position, which is unapologetically futuristic in its own right, ties the vehicle's look together. Ultimately, Guyen's post highlights a prominent theme in Tesla's history, the steady transition from tried and tested fossil fuel conventions to the potential presented by sustainable solutions. The Tesla Semi could address most of the problems plugging the trucking industry, plaguing the tra trucking industry today, after all. For example, with its convoy mood, Tesla Semi makes driving trucks a little safer. Previous reports have emerged su uh, suggesting that finding drivers in the trucking industry has been difficult as of late, despite decent wages, simply because some drivers aren't willing to take on the health risks caused by the job. The Tesla Semi, with its zero emission nature and its features such as convoy mood, which could make driving easier, alleviates some of the risk. Tesla has been conducting road tests with the Semi since it unveiled the all-electric Class A truck back in late 2017. Since then, Tesla's two Semi prototypes have been put through the paces. Recently, the red wrapped on unit was even spotted undergoing winter tests in the Tesla's facility in Alaska. A recent Elon Musk email revealed that the Tesla Semi is poised to enter volume production soon, considering that Elon Musk was con confident enough to move the semi into volume production, the all-electric Class 8 truck's final specifications and design are likely being ironed out if they aren't already. So I'm hoping that in the near future we will probably know more about the Tesla Semi's in precise specs. The Tesla Semi was announced with a range of either 300 or 500 miles per charge, but Elon Musk has mentioned that the production version of long haulers 
could have closer to 600 miles of range that's a lot of range with tesla battery day tentatively scheduled for september 15 musk's statements about the production semis range may very well prove to be accurate and we're going to take a look at that soon we already knew that the cabin was very spacious try to bring three men standing in the cabin of another semi that is not a steeper where can you find that right people say a treadmill could even fit in there the tesla semi truckers will be the most fit drivers in the trucking industry exercising while doing the work well actually the work is going to be done by uh, ai anyway so in pictures you probably have seen two versions of tesla semi friends the one version has a top on the cabin the other doesn't people looking at them say the photo shows a deficiency in that uh, the car carriers can transport another car over the cab whereas the tesla blocks that that said it's an easy tweak to lob the overhead of tesla the overhead with the tesla cab is probably there for wind drag reduction when Pulling normal trailers or containers and add on frequently added to normal trucks but for the use as car carrier it would make sense to cut the top of the cabin off to be able to store one more car above the cabin as the older models can do i mean it's just a prototype i don't think that technically there would be any issue or difficulty with changing the top of the cabin do you you know i'm thinking we need electric mobility in every part of our traffic system friends not just tesla while they sure they surely do a lot of a lot actually to push forward they can do it alone i mean it's impressive how they are still dragging several industries behind them kicking you know and screaming to drive uh, but even with their current rise they just can offer only so much buses the different types of scooters motorbikes and electric bicycles all of that has nothing to do with tesla even trucking comes up only now as they manage to build the um, capacities for their cars and can finally turn to their trucks my guess is that tesla can deliver the most important part of the puzzle and that is uh, the battery technology and they're already doing that also ships and leather in airplanes need to be electrified step by steps i think wouldn't it be uh, great if we could fly from let's say united states to europe or australia by uh, planes that are not using any gasoline or any fuel but just a renewable electric power i don't know how that can be achieved in the near future but i believe one day it will but to have a battery technology that can cover nearly any use case of a fossil fuel vehicle is the real breakthrough here which we will uh, get unveiled hopefully soon hopefully battery day will finally shed some light on this development not that tesla would be alone developing batteries but hebar and maxwell acquisitions wouldn't have happened if they wouldn't have to offer something substantial for development uh, I hope that a smaller car will be announced as well, more affordable and less range by Tesla one day, but uh, but very efficient also. Uh, imagine something under twenty thousand um, dollars. That that would make sure that Tesla not only can grow but also uh, grow into market segments which are not covered yet from them, uh, for them or um, or even others. Uh, the Zoe is actually a good example. It sells quite well despite it being an older model, twenty thousand and below. Needs it's um, an electric vehicle too. In other words, we need electric vehicles that are less than $20,000. It's difficult to imp um, impossible, but it's difficult um, to impossible with current technology. But I'm thinking that, you know, uh, with the coming of battery technology and new batteries, especially the million mile batteries uh, with more cycles and cobalt free batteries, hopefully one day very soon we will be able to produce electric car batteries for lesser price and sell electric cars for lesser and more affordable price for uh, uh, the car segments that are not yet um, at, in the reach of Tesla. So let's go back to semi. Uh, people say uh, all of these trucks that you see in these pictures here are considered semi tractors. The other two trucks are probably purchased for the sole purpose of hauling cars, whereas the Tesla is not. For that type of business, it is common and makes sense to use the space on top of the cabin to place extra cargo, in, I mean cars. This 
is confirmed by the picture showing the rails extending all the way to front of the truck it is by the way not harder to load or unload the vehicle on top of the cabin but others say car carriers are not semis what do you think are car carriers semis or no that picture is basically worst case scenario for um, capsize or diesel manufacturers the car carrier is a very unique specialized application where they chop the top of the cab uh, cab off to fit an additional car above it the picture would have more impact if it was taken next to other standard cab tractors it um, it looks like there is more room instead in the tesla cabin but when taken next to car carriers i think most truckers would dismiss it as an unfair comparison what about you uh, because we don't want tesla to be unfairly compared but i don't think it's very much unfair either so i love tesla but the picture uh, some people say is unfair uh, i read that in comments in the in the discussion forums the two other trucks are auto haulers that carry a car above the cab so the cab has has to be short and low uh, the tesla even if fully loaded could only carry seven cars on its trailer not nine as the purpose-built auto transporters do most importantly tesla trucks are day cabs some as these might be and hard to tell nose on but as most people have mentioned in tesla radis discussion board it's designed for towing the usual box enclosed trailers it does have a shirt roof line twin however that more closely matches these auto carriers um, too much focus on the cab height, height and not recognizing the coming future when the semi is in serial production autopilot might be at least on the highway that reliable um, that the driver can have a little walk <laughs> and do some gymnastics in the cabin while the car is driving what do you think friends what do you think about this picture what is your opinion um, let me know in the comment section below please in the meantime this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, uh, ring the notification bell so you may be notified when i upload our next video and um, have a wonderful rest of the day i'll see you in our next tesla report god bless you take good care of your each other and your families and peace to all of you see you soon